Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I'm tackling my nightmare. I'm tackling my nemesis, the one that I never ever got it the way I wanted to be. Beef ribs is something that I really love, something that I really like, but I haven't been able to really zero into making an amazing beef ribs yet. Every time I make it, everybody like it, but me, myself, right deep inside, I know it's not perfect. And it has to be perfect because I love beef ribs. I don't know if you guys saw the last video that I made with the beef ribs, and it was a comparison between beef ribs and pork ribs. If you haven't seen the video, you can check it out in here. But as you can see, I mean, I knew the pork was better, for real. But, Man, I want to make this so bad, and I want to make it perfect. I can make it, it's good, it's all right. People praise it, people say it's great, but I know inside that it's not the greatest thing ever. And I'm used to that, you know? Every time I cook something, I really, really enjoy it, and I really, really like it, but with the beef ribs, it haven't been like that. So today we have this beautiful piece of meat in here. Yeah, baby, I like that sound that we're gonna prepare tonight. We're gonna leave it on the fridge until tomorrow, and tomorrow we're gonna smoke these babies up on the web. But before doing that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell, because we're putting two videos online with a lot of fun, a lot of information, a lot of smoking and grilling. So if you like any of those things, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and let's get into this, baby. We really want these ribs to be done Texas style. Texas style is only salt and pepper, which is 40% salt and 60% pepper. That's all you need. Mix it well and let's put it on top of the ribs. As a binder, we're gonna use our amazing mustard that we already test and we know it's amazing. And what mustard do is that brings that little vinegary flavor into the meat that is amazing and it penetrates the meat really well. After that, we're just gonna let it rest for about 12 hours. Ryan, with these beautiful short ribs ready, we're gonna put them on the fridge until tomorrow. It's gonna be about, I'll say 12 hours, and then we're gonna set it up on the Weber and smoke the heck out of them and make them taste and look amazing because that's the goal here. Salt and pepper. This is 100% Texan because there is nothing more Texan than smoked beef. Texan style, beautiful ribs, if you're ready for this one, I'm ready with you. Let's put them on the fridge, and tomorrow, we're gonna continue with this baby. For you, it's gonna be right away, but for me, it's gonna be tomorrow. Let's go. All right, so we have everything set up. The ribs are there, the weather is light up, and everything is looking good right now. I know you guys know the definition of craziness, which is doing the same thing over and over and over, expecting these different results, and I don't know if I'm getting into that, but I think we're gonna beat it today, guys. We're using the slow ones here. You guys know that I don't like to do a lot of reviews about the gadgets and the accessories for the Weber because everybody has a different opinion and I don't really like to get into those things. But uh, the slow ones here is something that I try a thousand times. And it always works and it always produces exactly what I want. So I have a lot of hope on that. We're using some apple wood that we put underneath of the charcoal. I think that gives a better result on the smoking because it burns from the top down. And we have a lot of hope. Let's see what happens. Let's go for it. All right, boys and girls, it's been two hours already and it's looking really good. And it's now time to do something that I don't do as much as I should, but we're gonna do it today because I want these babies to be amazing. So this is the squeakity squeakity bottle. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some apple cider vinegar into it. And we're gonna be squeaking this thing on top of the ribs and see what happens. Uh, 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 uh. If you look at me, I get nervous. Miss Danja, looking at me. I can do it. That was easy enough. 
We put the squeakery squeakery on the ribs, and now we're gonna leave it about 30 minutes. We're gonna do this squeakery squeakery every 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set my alarm for 30 minutes, come back, do the same thing, and I think this is gonna make a difference. I don't know, I'm trying everything here. Let's see what happens. Well, I have a little update. As you can see, we have a setup for 205 degrees. Uh, right now, the temperature, the ambient temperature in the grill is 242 degrees, which is more or less what we want. And right now, the meat is heating internal temperature of 174. So I'm assuming we have about two more hours to go. All right, guys, here we have these beauties ready to go. Now all we have left to do is to wrap them in some aluminum foil, let them rest for about an hour, and then we're gonna cut into these babies and see what happens. Very carefully. Make sure it's tight and make sure you don't have any holes because we want to retain that heat in there as much as we can. Let's put them in the cooler, let's wait an hour, and let's give it a try. All right, Miss Ninja, it's time to try this thing and see how you like it. First of all, the crust looks beautiful. It's beautiful. The smell is like, oh my God. Smell amazing. Amazing. But, uh, you know, this is my nightmare, my nemesis, the <laughs> one that I've been fighting against. And uh, I don't know if I have it yet. Until I try it, I won't know. So I know. I was going to ask you, do you conquer your fear already? I don't know or yet. Not yet. I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Well, you let's know, give it. It look amazing, but I've done some before that look as good as this one, and they haven't been that good. Okay. But there is only one way to know, man. Let's give it a try to try. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay. Me okay. Too. I mean, first of all, they look super soft. Miss Ninja, this is so tender. They're look at marveling. This. Let's go for it. Let's go. Hmm. 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 I'll tell you, it's, it's full of flavor. Yep. It's juicy inside. It's really juicy. The marbling and the fat. It's, it's really great. good, but I don't think it's as tender as I would like it to be. Right? Eh? It's it. not super tender, guys. Uh, I don't have it. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, there's more opportunities to make it again. I mean, this it's is... It's good. It's <clears throat> really good. It's really good. I mean, this is as good as any restaurant out there. But I know I can make it better. I know it can be done better. Any suggestion, guys? I Put them know. down below. I don't know what I'm missing here yet. But again, <laughs> we have more time to try it. The ribs were amazing. It's looking great. I'm the one that is not 100% tuned into this yet. And uh, that have to change. That have to change. I mean, it's good. It's it's real good. I will eat it all. Yeah, me too. Me too. But I know what you're saying. You want yes. it more like you give it a bite and it falls apart, right? Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking yeah. for those fibers to disintegrate in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And then, you know. The crust is really good. Well, the crust is amazing. That is amazing. But mm. yeah, you're right. It has a bite to it, but it, not that it falls apart in your mouth. It's not a big bite either, but it has a little bit of a bite. Mm -hmm. But again, guys, we want to thank Meet the Butcher for sending this to us. 
It's Thank an you. amazing piece of meat. We love yes, it. it. Um, it's a pleasure for me to deal with this beautiful meat, even though it didn't come out exactly what I wanted to be. But uh, we had to thank Mr. Butcher for sending this to us. And if you don't know, we have a coupon code. It's called SALTY10 for a 10% discount on everything on Meet the Butchers. So if you go there and you want to buy something that have really good prices, use the coupon and you're going to get a 10% on top of the good prices they have there already. Yes, I do. And um, I don't know, Miss Ninja, this is a matter <laughs> of um, taking it with a grain of salt. It's good, but it's not great. Gotcha. That's right. It's, it's good. It's good, but it's but not, not great. great. It can be better. You know what I'm target, trying to target here? Yes. The right. ones that you do in the soup, that they oh. are kind of falling apart. Oh. That's what I try to get with smoking. And I know it's possible. I know it's possible. But, you know, if you guys have any recommendation, just put it down there in the comments. I know what it Let is. Like the fat, when you cook it, and then we make soups out of this. Yeah, and it's amazing. And when you bite, it's just like the fat will fall apart. Hard. It will fall apart. Yes. That's what I'm yes. looking for in the smoking. I mean, we are closer now than what we used to be a few months ago. Still, I need to keep trying. <laughs> but let's stop talking about the meat. Yeah. And let's talk about the shout out there. Take it, 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 take these Welcome, are not Jason. the best ribs ever, but these are the best ribs that I've made <laughs> till today. They are really good. They are really enjoyable and they taste really good. Still have a little bite. I want it to be <laughs> even better. Mr. Joe, you give me a break. Yes. <laughs> and uh, But you're going to have fun with this, man. So all you have to do is come here, sit on that chair. And Mr. Joe, as you can see, he's nervous. He wants yeah. to lick all over your face. So that's all you have to do. That is right. And you're going to get this with lots and lots and lots. Of love. Right, Nidia? Love. Love. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like it, please hit it with a like. Lots and lots of likes. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, there is a button down there, man. Hit that thing and hit the little bell that come out after so you get notified every time we upload the video. Which is every Tuesdays and Fridays. And it's all for you guys. And if you have any comment, any idea what I did wrong, or any way to make it even better, I would love to try any recommendation you guys set in there. So put it down in the comments. That's all for today, guys. Mr. Georgie is really hungry. So. It's great. Oh, my gosh. I love you. Mm -hmm. We love you.